Balloon Pop is a game in which, uh, well, you know what? This is an app. This is an app from your iPad or your Android or your phone that they have made into a board game. <laughs> You'll understand when I show you. In this game, players are going to have a handful of cards that are one through 10. And you're gonna be playing these over the course of several rounds. In each round, you're gonna pull these cubes here, which are balloons, because of course balloons are cubical. And you'll notice some have these symbols on them, but you're going to pull out sets of four randomly per number of players. So let's say we're playing a three player game, we'd pull out four sets of balloons like this. Hey, it's a wild balloon. Then each player in turn order is gonna play a card or you can play where everyone turns them and reveals them. Whoever plays the highest card is going to pick a set first. Whoever plays the second highest card will take a whatever one of the leftover sets and whoever plays the lowest card will take one. If there's a tie, first in player turn order gets to pick first. Once you take the balloons, you're going to put them on your player board. How the balloons are placed on your board depends on the card that you play. So if you play a 10 or a nine, it's going to be vertically and you can place them, you know, either direction vertically, so I can place them like this, but they're balloons, so they will rise to the top like that. If you play an eight or seven, they are horizontal. Now horizontally means when you place them like this, look at this, this one will rise and stop there. The rest will keep rising. And that's always how that's going to work. A six or five, you choose horizontal or vertically. A four or three, you can choose horizontally or vertically, or you can get rid of one of the ones at the end. So if I have these four, for example, I might say, I'm gonna get rid of this blue one here and just move those three up like that. And the two and one are the same thing, except you can get rid of one in between. Now, you are trying to score your player board. You will do that if you ever make a group of four or more, so let's say these two come up like this, that would be a group of five yellows. So when I have five yellows, I'm gonna take that many, minus two points, see, four or more, minus two points, and so I would get three points, which would be marked on the scoring board, all the other balloons would go up. Now, when it comes to these symbols next to each other, two or more of those go together, so that's already would pop, and sometimes, when you pop some stuff, other stuff would pop. So that's only minus one. So this would, these would all go away and I would get, well, two points. And that's the game. You're just gonna keep doing this. You're gonna put out some more balloons and take it. After eight rounds, you only play eight of the cards from your hand. You will score all the points that you got over the course of the game. Plus each completely empty row and or column will score you one or three points respectively. Whoever has the most points, is the winner. So this is kind of a weird one. Gorgeous production. I mean, they did a great job on how this looks. I mean, you can even look inside the box, inside the bottom cover. I'm not gonna take everything out. It shows you all the components. That's fantastic. And the, the cubes are cool. Although again, it doesn't make sense. They're balloons, but they're cubes. And they try to be like, look the cover, they're cubes, whatever. The thing about this is, it's okay, you play a card, you're trying to outplay other people, trying to get the ones you want to make the balloons fly up and make groups so you can get points, although you can get a lot of points by having empty rows and columns at the end of the game. And in fact, when I played, that has almost always determined the victor who can get the most empty spaces. So fine, but you know what? Why do I wanna play this? There is literally probably a thousand app games that do this exact same thing. A board game just slows it down, adds cards, and if it did something different, that'd be interesting. This one doesn't seem to do anything different, and it's missing all the cool animations and stuff. Now, I know you might argue and say, hey, get off the app and just play a board game, but it's fine. It's interesting for a brief while, but I would not want to get this one. It's not terrible. I didn't hate playing it, but I wouldn't really recommend getting it. Six out of ten for me.